Front Row MMA here at Cage Warrior 74, the Copper Box Arena, Olympic Park, and we're here with the returning Tom Breeze. Tom, a three-round fight that didn't quite go three because you got the finish. Yeah. You have got to be pleased about how you have coped with a two-year layoff. Um, yeah, I am pleased. Um, I think the most important thing, the thing that I'm happiest about is that I got a lot of uh, cage time in there, you know. Now I know what to work on, you know, I got, I got off the ring rust and, you know, I'm a, I'm a new fighter now and I'm looking forward to showing you a, a better Tom Breeze in every fight. Well, you know, before the injury you were, you were ranked as one of the top 20 prospects in the world. How, do you feel that, do you feel that, that two years has set you back or is it lit, a, lit a bigger fire in your belly because motivation was never a problem for you? Yeah, it, I suppose it's only, it only made me more motivated. But. I couldn't have got more motivated, you know, this is my whole life, I dedicate everything to it. I live, eat and, and sleep this. When you heard that Mo Peter had to withdraw from injury, did your heart sink a little bit? Yeah, I was, I was very disappointed at first. And then, you know, they give you a new opponent that you've never heard of. It's, it's hard to get geared up for. And then also my coach was, my coach Eric O'Keefe was uh, supposed to be flying over for the Mo Peter fight. And then the fight got cancelled, we didn't know what was happening. So um, Eric cancelled his flight and, you know, I had to persevere. When they gave you the opponent, or when they said we've got a replacement, was there anything that was going to stop you stepping into this cage? Uh, you know what? I, I thought about it for a second, but you know, if I didn't fight, there would have been a voice, at, voice at the back of my head. You know, I would have, I would have really been disappointed in myself for, for not fighting. You know, whenever there's an opportunity, you got to take it with both hands. You know, you're preparing for somebody. You get that late minute replacement. Does that mean game plans have to go out the window? Did you did you just have to react in there a little bit more than perhaps implement a game plan? Yes, I mean, my God, I, I, I've been working on specific things in, in fight camp, and you know, in this fight, God, you know, it's the ring rust. That mate, I was a bit more tired than usual, and you know, struggled with the guy's timing. The guy was a lot taller than the guy I'd been preparing for. I've been preparing for Mopi, who's a shorter opponent, and. You know, this guy was more from a, a grappling background. Not saying that more Peter's a bad grappler, but it's just a different fight. What's the, other than the cage time and the win? What's the biggest positive you take out of this? The fight, that, the fact that you finally gotten back into the cage. Yeah. That Tom Breezy's back, and you know, uh, being injury free, you're gonna see a lot more of me. I know you're not the type to call people out, but you know, there's a pretty stacked division of uh, welterweight here. Yeah. You, you, are, are there, are, are there people that you fancy testing your skills? I'm not asking you to call people out, but. Yeah. I, I know you'd love me to say a name, but there's really there's would. too many fighters, and that's not my my or my team style to be calling people out. How many fights do you want 2015 then, Tom? Four at least. Yeah, I'd like four fights at least. And at this point next year, is there gold around that waist? I'd like to think so. At the end of the year, I'll be the uh, Cage Warriors champion. But one one fight at a time. You know, I'm just going to keep improving, keep getting better as a fighter. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta say, w welcome back. You know, it, it must have been a hell of a wait for you, but for the people that are following the, the, your fans, it's been a hell of a wait for them too. Uh, it was a great performance, and there's got to be people and sponsors you want to shout out and thank. So please feel free. Yeah, I want first of all want to thank uh, Baker Goodchild, who sponsored me for for my last few fights, and I really appreciate. It. Without them, I couldn't afford to uh, go to TriStar and and train. Uh, Fear the Fighter for sponsoring me for this fight. Uh, Fearless MMA, TriStar. Um, Eric O'Keefe for us, the hobby, and you know, Keish and Kami Vanga. Gumshoe. Sponsor? Gumshoe? No, no, no Gumshoe sponsor. I need Yet. a Gumshoe sponsor, yeah. Yet. Yeah. Tom, it's always, well, it, it's been too long. It's a pleasure to watch you work. A more dedicated athlete, people would have a hard time finding in any sport. Yeah. Good luck in the future, and we can't wait to see you fight again. I'd like to say thanks to my opponent as well for stepping at short notice. Humble in victory. Tom, it's a pleasure. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>